What's going on everybody? My name is Salty Table, and today I wanted to make a little bit of a different video about something I've noticed over the past few weeks in GTA Online. It's inflation. And I think a lot of people know that the KO Preco heist under its lights and glamour is going to cause a lot of prices to rise. And I wanted to tell you guys what some of the things you can expect in the near future to change because of this heist. Now a good question that a lot of you guys may be asking is how does inflation work in GTA? Is it, it's a video game, how can it have it? Well it does. And Rockstar constantly makes it worse by adding higher paying heists. Here's an example that I have. Let's use the Doomsday Heists as an example. Back in 2017, Rockstar released the Smuggler's Run, Online Gun Running, and the Doomsday Heist. Now those heists paid out $650,000 for the first one, $950,000 for the second, and $1.2 million for the third. These were the biggest and probably best paying out heists that we have ever seen as a community. Not only because they paid insanely high but you could do them with just two people that was groundbreaking however right after that we saw in 2018 the arena war update which added insanely overpriced vehicles which they are overpriced don't get me wrong they are insanely overpriced because they're ineffective to the oppressor which also came out in 2018 in the after hours update this is insane it's it's going to get worse, guys, before it gets better, and it won't get better, in my opinion. GTA Online just had a heist pay out the most for a single individual player. 1.5 million for me. I, I've done the heist multiple times, and I've gotten multiple payouts, and one of the highest was 1.5 million. And we already see the first effects just two weeks after that heist came out we see the new like volkswagen buggy i don't even remember what it was called it's that garbage of a car it was worth eight hundred thousand dollars do you guys realize that the zentorno which is a super car a great super car is worth seven hundred and twenty five thousand dollars let that sink in and not only that it gets worse there are go-karts that were added in gta online that are worth more than a zentorno the go-karts in GTA were worth like $900,000 and $995,000. This, this is just classic GTA Online inflation. So now you guys know what GTA Online inflation is. If you didn't really catch on, basically Rockstar releases a new heist, ups the price of everything in the future, no matter what it is, even if it's the crappiest car in the game, that little Volkswagen Beetle thing, they up that price so that you have to do the heist for it, or you could grind. That's my next point I want to get into. How will this affect us grinders and legit players and people that actually want to play the game fairly? Well. To sum it up, our businesses are going to be nearly useless to this new heist. We are going to have to either run the businesses non-stop. There's nothing that can compete with the new heist payout, especially since you can do it solo. And that's great and all. It's like we've always wanted a solo heist. But the problem is if you've bought a business in GTA Online, whether it's the Coke the you know any mc businesses any ceo business that's going to be completely invaluable to you in gta now because all you need to do is get a submarine and then you can go to ko perico get 1.5 million basically pay off your sub and then get whatever you want in gta that's basically what's going to happen in the future here is some footage of when i went to my laboratory and it was full stock and I have full, basically full upgrades excluding the security upgrade. That's the only one I don't have. $357,000. That is one third the price of the go-kart that they released. Do you think I'm going to buy a business? Here, here. Think of me as a new player. Do you think I would buy a business in GTA Online that I have to constantly run or refill to get one third the price of a go-kart? Are you serious? What? what? No, the answer is no. You would not buy that business knowing you have to run it or sell it at full stock for one third of a go-kart. Like, what? Okay. 
yeah, so it's not going to be pretty. Our businesses are going to drastically lose value going forward. This is... It's insane, guys. I know. And uh, there's not much we can do about it besides simply get yourself a submarine and, you know, prepare to do some Kayaparico grinding because that's all the grinding that's going to really be valid. I mean, of course the businesses will provide they they're not paying out less all i'm saying is if rockstar ups the overall price of vehicles going forward then they should up the price of the mc business payouts and the ceo payouts guys if if you don't believe me if you doubt what i'm saying like oh no he's not right my businesses will be able to buy this and that let me use this example of grinding strategies kind of losing their value here's an example what was popular before the heist update came out the original heist update with the fleesa missions gta 5 missions everyone grinded missions because that was the best source of money and then gta heist came out all right and then everyone suddenly forgot about me well they didn't forget about missions they still paid but they were they were like eh, they don't really pay much and uh you know heist require people so missions are a little bit easier but then all of a sudden they have doomsday heists oh now you only need two people and now we have the ko perico heist we don't even hear about missions anymore missions are completely off in the oblivion like nobody does them anymore you basically only do missions if you're a new player that's that's going to be the case i think with mc businesses they're going to or if if they're not going to be completely useless, they're going to lose insane amounts of value. Because no one wants to have to sell four vehicles of an MC business at full stock or bunker or CEO business. No one wants to have to sell that with multiple people. So that could, these are consequences that we will have to deal with going forward because of the KO Perico heist. Now, it's, I'm not saying I don't like it. I like the KO Perico heist. It's fun. But I think it pays too much. I think you are severely overpaying GTA 5 players. And this is classic Rockstar. They're going to basically up the price so high. So our only options are going to be to either do the heist. Or if you want, you could buy a shark card. An $8 million shark card. You know that you, you can... $100 for $8 million. That's an awful deal. What a trashy deal. If you guys are ever contemplated spending $100 in GTA, in GTA for the $8 million, don't. You're wasting your money. Please don't. Please. Please don't. So, I just wanted to bring this up to you guys. This is, this is what we have to deal with as grinders and as the GTA community. Going forward, things are going to get worse. Our prices are going to skyrocket. I mean, we already see it with the boats. I mean, they released the new boat for the for the Keo Perico heist. It's the it's the smuggler's boat, but at least that boat is the fastest and it looks pretty good. The Volkswagen Beetle and the go karts are useless. There's nothing special about them. I bought the Volkswagen Beetle and it is slow. It is useless. I, I can't fathom just how bad inflation is going to get in GTA 5. We have arrived at the point where a Volkswagen Beetle is the same price as a Bugatti in GTA. We are not headed there. We are at the point where one bunker cell can buy you one go-kart. Yeah, it's that bad. And the reason I'm making this video is because I don't see a lot of other GTA YouTubers talking about this right now. I think it's going to get a lot more serious getting into the future months. I'm just calling it out as it is right now. And I want my viewers, my subscribers to be prepared for what's going to happen in GTA Online in the future. If you guys are interested in more money guides, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I will be doing all coverage on the KO Perico heist in the future. You know, every secondary location. I've already got that video ready to go. I just got to upload it. And I will be doing more about the Elite Challenge and getting maximum payouts from the KO Perico heist. I'll also be doing some streaming I plan in the future. So maybe some more grinding, but grinding is going to be practically useless going down the road. It's going to just be the KO Perico heist with the submarine. So thank you guys so much for watching and take it easy guys.